Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. So today, we're really excited because we are going to be installing an NVT Evo with Apple CarPlay on a 2012 5 Series. So here you can see some of the components. We have everything from the much larger screen. We have the actual NVT Evo. Um, just a lot of the different wiring. One of the other big things about the system is it also comes with the touch iDrive controller. So these are absolutely awesome. So today what we're going to do is we are going to show you what it looks like before. We're going to show you some of the installation process. We're not going to go step by step because every car is a little bit different. For example, for this car, we had to buy a special CAS device. Once we have everything completely installed, we're going to show you a demo of how everything works. So let's get started. So this is what the factory screen looks like today. So as you can see, if I hold the new one up here, the new screen looks like it's almost double the size of what's in the car today. Um, you'll also notice that when you when you scroll through here or when you press the nav button that nothing happens because it doesn't have navigation but the MBT Evo is equipped with navigation so we're going to be installing that. The other thing is we're going to be installing the, the touch iDrive controller so you can see it's over here. It's really nice if you need to look up phone contacts or anything you can actually draw letters on here and then it will appear on the screen. Um, the other thing you'll notice is just the entire interface will be completely different and you'll be able to do things like split screen and you'll be able to use Apple CarPlay and even more. Always remember, whenever you're working on your car, you always want to make sure that you disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. If ever you're using a drill, always be very careful. Just go ahead and take this off. Push it down to the side.
All right, so at this point, everything is fully installed and we're just having the final coating done and then we should be all set. As you can see, the NBT Evo complete with Apple CarPlay is fully installed in this 2012 F10. You can see here, if I scroll through, I can access my phone contacts, my music. I can go into um, the Maps app that's actually on the phone. And if you didn't want to use the, the navigation that's already built into the car, um, you can go into your messages, much safer way to see what you have. Pushing the menu button on the iDrive controller will bring you back to this new, amazing looking interface. Here you can see you have media and radio, and this is where you go. You actually click in here and then it says now playing in CarPlay, and then you hit the iDrive button, and that's how you're going to actually get back to Apple CarPlay. I'm just gonna keep going back a little bit. You have communication. Again, you can access your phone in Apple CarPlay. Next we have navigation. Again, this is BMW's navigation that's fully built into the car. So you can see we're in New Jersey. Now, as you remember on the last iDrive controller, it had a nav button, but it didn't do anything. Now, when we press nav, it's going to pull up those nice BMW maps. We have connected drive where you can find BMW Assist and any other apps. Under my vehicle, it's going to be a lot of the same options that you had in the previous iDrive, just the interface looks a little bit different. Finally, we just have notifications. You can see here I have my, my door and my trunk open and I have to set the date and time. Uh, but other than that, there's no other malfunctions or notifications. Two other notable features is as you can hear, we have a YouTube video on and we have full Bluetooth now. Now that's a feature that the car did not have before so we were able to add enhanced Bluetooth where not only can you make phone calls but you can actually stream audio. And then last we have this nice touch iDrive controller. So what you can do with this if you need to um, enter a name or if there's any ever a time when you need to type something into the car, what you can do is you can just spell out the letters with your finger. You can see I just wrote my name there and it correctly identified each and every letter. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If this is something that you'd like to have in your car, please see the link in the description and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much and have a great day.